All right, guys, in this video today, um, we have a serious problem. My homie just called me. He said he bought a car, and um, he got a great great deal on it, but it was a fake title. <laughs> so I have to come on. It's my duty and obligation to come on here and tell you guys what to look for and on the title when it's a fake title. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I ain't going to say his name on here or tag him on the video. But my homie just bought a, a car with the fake title. He called me up, said, yo, Herb, yo, Herb, I need your help. All in panic because he lost $5,500, right? So, guys, on today's video, I have to be clear. Like, if the deal is too good to be true, it's it's probably fake or something's going on with it, all right? It's just Facebook Marketplace is a place where people be scamming like this is scammers territory now i know i always suggest you go in there to get a good deal but if the car is like you know fifteen thousand dollars and they're offering it for five thousand don't even, listen it, it they scam it all right now i got something here to show you this is what he showed me right the back of the title is white <laughs> like bro it's, it's almost like a dollar bill. Like, the dollar bill should have something on the back of it. Um, I mean, I know a lot about titles, so I'm going to give y'all all the sauce, all right, just to protect you. If you're going to buy a car in the next year or so, six months, to be, maybe somebody's about to buy a car today, I got a, a tip for you right here, okay? Um, I mean, you're always going to look for the best deal. But you want to go to meet up at the tag place, Right? If they don't want to meet at the tag place, red flag, scam it. Right? If they don't want to show show their drive, they're gonna have to show their driver's license at the tag place. If they don't want to show you their driver's license, they, they don't have a license to scam. Alright? If they don't want to go inside the tag scam, if they don't want to go inside the tag place, scam. Alright? Look at this title. If their name is not on here, Scam. Y'all like, Irv, I don't care. I'm still going to buy the car. I'm still going to drive off. I don't got no insurance. I don't care. Bet. All right, listen. If you buy a car that has liens on it or a fake title, they're coming to get you. Like, it's no it's no getting, a, it's no getting around it. The tow truck is coming. <laughs> if somebody has a lien on a car you just purchased, right? Now, how do you even know that? The only way you're going to know is if you go to the DMV or the tag place and you check the title. That's it. Like, there's no other way to check a lien. You have to check the lien at the tag place or the DMV. You, there's just no other way. If you buy a car with a lien on it, that person, whoever has the lien on it, ABC Finance Company, yada, 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 title loan place. Oh, my God. Let me get on the title loan place. They have every right to come get a tow truck and drag the car away. It doesn't matter if you have a fake title or bill of sale or you spent $8,000 or you called Fox 29 News, Quincy Harris, you call all these people and you, listen, you you're, you lost all your money. You're gonna be standing there with no money. Okay, let me get y'all, don't, don't use this, don't use this. I gotta be careful here because the feds is watching me because I'm on page is hot. But this is how people do, this is what people do. This is what, I'm gonna give you the sauce, all right? I'm gonna give you the Big Mac sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. So this is what people do with the title loan place. They get a duplicate title, right? They sell the car and then they take the duplicate title to the loan place and get double the money. So they're going to bang you on the sale and then they're going to take the title to the title loan place and get an extra 25, maybe five grand. Oh my God. Now, if, listen, if you do this, you're going to jail straight up. Like don't even play around, try to do all that Kia boy stuff. That's very illegal, but that's how people steal a lot of money all right you're gonna be the title loan place is gonna be out and if you purchase the car if you bought a 2019 Dodge Charger for $5,500 you're gonna be out too right bad all right so there's a few things that you want to look for on the title guys all right um, if it's an out-of-state title and they have a and they're from Philly they be like yo where are you from I'm from Philly so why is your why is the title from Alabama bruh why you got an Alabama title? <laughs> like, if you see somebody... Okay, because this is how it works, right? You have a Pennsylvania driver's license. You get your car registered in Pennsylvania. You're going to have a Pennsylvania title. Right? So, it's a, just another red flag if you meet somebody on Facebook Marketplace and they say, yeah, I'm from Philly. I'm from Philly. But they have a Oklahoma title. It could be fake. 
Only way to check it. I'm giving y'all I'm giving y'all free game because I don't want you to lose a lot of money. My man just called me, lost a lot of money, he bought a car with a fake title. A lot of you people be calling me for car advice. That's what's up. I'm here to help. It's all free game. Alright? Um Okay, another thing too, right? This is gonna be like, you know, obvious, but you wanna check the whole entire VIN number. You just wanna check all 17 numbers. Um, you open the door jam, you're gonna see a sticker with the VIN, you can check that. And on the hood, right above the hood on the driver's side, right below the inspection stickers, you wanna check the VIN number there too. The VIN is in seven, like 17, 18 spots on the car, right? Example. Let's say you put like um, you get some work done on the car and you put a new door. The door, the door is gonna have a different VIN number than the car. Like sometimes people mix and match the body parts to get you on buying a car that's not the same VIN number. I'm only saying this because my man just lost fifty five hundred. Guys, all right, listen. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this up on the uh, on the YouTube.